A green comet is here that hasn't been seen in 50,000 years, and we're going to talk about how you can see it. Let's dive in. How to see the rare green comet that is passing by Earth. Skywatchers should use telescopes and binoculars to witness the phenomenon. Looks pretty awesome. A rare green comet that last passed through our solar system 50,000 years ago will fly within 26 million miles of Earth on Wednesday, harmlessly zipping by at a blistering speed. The sun orbiting comet cosmic snowball made of frozen rock and dust just in first enthralled amateur and professional astronomer, astronomers and photographers alike during its recent journey through the inner solar system. The comet has become increasingly more visible in the nighttime sky with binoculars and telescopes in the northern hemisphere over the past month or so, according to the National Aeromatics and Space Administration astronomers. But weather permitting, late Tuesday evening into early Wednesday offers an opportunity <clears throat> an opportune moment for sky watchers to glimpse the object in the northern sky just ahead of its closest approach to Earth. The comet will be brighter for folks in North America on Tuesday evening, according to Paul Chodis, director of the Center for Near Earth Object Studies at NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. He said a good pair of binoculars or a small telescope would be needed to view it, adding that it won't be bright enough to see with the naked eye. That's disappointing. I wanted to be a Game of Thrones, a green comet in the sky. Man, that'd be cool. But it might be possible for people in the Northern Hemisphere who have good vision to catch a glimpse of the comet if they head to a very dark place with limited light pollution um, Any time before early morning hours on Wednesday, according to Dr. Yusuf Malane, a postdoctoral researcher studying comets at Auburn University in Alabama. Light from the moon, which will be around 80 percent illuminated on Tuesday, could certainly stymie naked eye viewing, said John Girogini, a senior analyst in the Jet Propulsion Laboratory's Solar System Dynamics Group. He recommended using a telescope of at least four inches to six inches, directing your gaze towards the constellation known as Camopelarius. I should have looked this up before I did this video. Camopelarius. Look this up. Google that. Go Google this and look there. Looking for a small green smudge. That distinct color, according to Mr. Uh, Geogeni, is likely because of the presence of a chemical known as diatomatic carbon, which interacts with solar radiation that bombards the comet's head as it travels through space. Photos reveal that the comet's two tails, a short, broad dust trail, and a long, bluish ion tail made up of electronically charged gas molecules. How cool. The comet has grown bigger and brighter in the night sky since it passed by the sun in mid-January and began nearing Earth, according to NASA. According to Mr. Chodis, it will be the closest to our planet at 12.55 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, moving past Earth at 128,000 miles an hour on its way back to the outer reaches of the solar system. So after Tuesday night, the comet will start to dim gradually over the next month. Dan Barclett, a 66-year-old retired high school science teacher from Los Angeles, is among those who have successfully photographed, the, photographed this green comet. Mr. Barclett captured images of it from his cabin in June Lake, a remote area east of Yosemite National Park in eastern Sierra. He said he takes multiple exposures using an 18-inch telescope, then uses software to align varying views of the comet into a single image. NASA has highlighted Mr. Barclay's photography and some of its statements about the comet, which was first discovered less than a year ago by astronomers using the Zawicki Transient Facility, a camera mounted to a telescope atop Palomar Mountain in Southern California. 
The time and place of that discovery contributes to the comet's long designation C-22E3ZTF. Everybody's got their passion, and this is mine, said Mr. Barclay, who has photographed other comets and astronomical objects. It just gives me... It just gives you this pronounced feeling there is so much more to the universe than what's just around us. This partic particular comet is thought to have originated from the Oort cloud, what astronomers believe to be a spherical shell of ice debris that forms the outermost boundary of the solar system. Sometimes Mr. Geogene... Geogeni said gravity from stars can knock pieces of this debris out of the cloud so they begin moving towards the sun. <clears throat> Even the closest part of the Oort cloud is hundreds of billions of miles from the center of the solar system. So comets from there can take tens of thousands of years to complete even one orbit around the sun. In the case of C2022 E3ZTF, it takes about 50,000 years, Mr. Choda said. So the last time this comet harmlessly passed through the inner solar system was during the Stone Age, when the Neanderthal cousins dominated the planet. But we really don't know how close it might have come or whether it was bright enough to be seen by any of our keen-eyed ancestors, he said. Yeah, probably not, right? They didn't have telescopes, and yeah, they weren't looking for it. But I don't know. They always used the stars. They're like, what's a green smudge up there? Weird. One off so if the moon wasn't as bright. Hmm. Astronomers with large telescopes will likely continue observing the comet for a year or more following its closest approach, Mr. Chodas said. Such observer, such observations will assist with characterizing the comet's chemical composition and mapping its path through the solar system according to mr geogeny yes is awesome <clears throat> i live in austin so i'm not going to see it and i don't have telescope or or binoculars but if i guess if i wanted to go drive but that probably isn't going to happen but if you can see it that's awesome you know um uh, do you think you're going to go check it out? Has the time passed and the comet's gone? It's crazy. It's it's still going to be here for another month. But, yeah, not very long. So definitely check that out. If you can get a telescope tomorrow, Jan what is it, February 1st? Yeah, going into February 2nd. Check that out of 2023. Um, please let me know what you think. This is pretty cool. It's a green comment. Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.